Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miguel and Will's Wonderful World of Marine Engineering, episode 420. Today we're going to be talking about hydraulics. Now you're probably wondering, what are hydraulics? Let me tell you. Hydraulics are the name we use for power transmitted by a liquid. Just as a side note, if the fluid you're using is air, we call it pneumatics. But they're very similar. And both of these concepts work based off of something called Pascal's Law, which states that if you put pressure on a body of fluid, then the pressure in that body is constant throughout. And we can put that into an example here. What, this is just a simplification of the syringe experiment, which Will is going to show you shortly. And what it's saying is basically, we can put pressure on a small body of liquid. For example, the pressure I put on this tea to keep me awake during the long, hard nights of too much homework. And that little force acting, because this is a small syringe, it's going to have a small area. So it's going to create a pressure. And that pressure is going to be constant throughout this fluid. And it's come up, going to come up here. And what this equation says, it's just representation of pressure saying that it's force over area. And since it's constant, if the area goes up with the bigger syringe, that means the force has to go up. So with a little bit of input, we can get a lot more force output, which is good for us because we want to move some heavy stuff around. And now we're going to put our safety goggles on and we're going to throw it over to Will to show you the syringe experiment in action. Here are our two syringes. Here's the small syringe and here's the large syringe. What we're going to do is we're going to apply our force right here and we're going to watch as the plunger of the large syringe rises. Now imagine this as a crank. We need to apply a small force and we're going to get a big output. That's going to help us to lift whatever large loads we need to lift. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Watch closely. Whoop. That's why we have our safety goggles. And up it goes. I like it when things finally rise. Now that the science is over, so is the safety. Now there's lots of different applications for this on board a ship. Now here's how these systems work. We're going to have a reservoir where our fluid is stored. This could be our water, like we saw in the syringe, or oil is often used in hydraulics as well. That oil or water or liquid of some kind is constantly being pumped under pressure. That way, from a user command, there's an instantaneous response in the actuator system. Now, as soon as we get an input, the directional control valve, which we see here, is going to rotate to accommodate that input. Now, what we see here is a rotary valve in the same position as this one, where the fluid is flowing. Now, as this moves, the centerpiece changes directions. It can cut off flow entirely, meaning that this system will not be doing anything, or it can change the direction of flow. Now, what we see here is a hydraulic ramp. In this particular instance, the pressurized fluid is flowing this way into this side of the ramp. That means that the pressure is going to push the ram, which is really just a large solid block, that way. And it's going to push this other hydraulic fluid out. Don't worry, we won't lose it. It's going to go up and back into our reservoir. And in moving the ram, it's going to move a shaft and apply a force this way. Now this is super helpful for doing things like lifting heavy hatches, actuating cran cranes like I mentioned earlier, or we can even use it to turn the rudders of our ships using a very similar system but rotary to apply a torque. That is all for hydraulics. Thank you for watching another episode of Will and Miguel's Wonderful World of Marine Engineering, episode 420.